guys, what's up? Right now, we are going to do the drug picture of medorinum. Medorinum is a very important drug, especially if you are in fourth year, then it is going to come as a drug picture. All right, medorinum is most commonly used for female ailments. But let us see the complete drug picture of medorinum. I am going to uh, draw a small and simple diagram to explain it to you, after which you will understand the whole drug completely. Okay. So let's start with it. Okay, so here's the picture. Uh, I'm better at art, I promise, but this is the best I could do at the moment. So here you see this is a man standing with bent backwards. So medorinum has this characteristic symptom that the person, I'm showing this like this, so it is bent backwards. So the person can pass stools only while bending backwards okay so this is the first keynote symptom of medorinum that we know of okay secondly now since we are at the back level what i would also like to show is that there is severe back ache from occiput to whole length of spine okay so severe backache from occiput to whole length of spine backache whole spine right uh, with stiffness and burning which is why i've taken the red pen so stiffness and burning a uh, sense of tightness or constriction all over i would just show it here so there is like sense of tightness or constriction in the back symptom okay uh, let's uh, since we were talking about stools let's go more in detail about that okay, i'll draw a person's hand okay like here's the hand and i'm going to draw a ball here overlapping this thing mm. okay. so the symptom in the stool is that the stools are ball like ball like stools and I am drawing a little bit of spikes here if you could see and notice that so the spikes in uh, tell us about sharp You see a sharp a needle pain in rectum. And that makes the person cry. Okay. So like the, because of the sharp needle pain, the person cries and there are tears. So it is that severe. Alright. Lumbar vertebrae. So somewhere over here. Lumbar vertebrae is sensitive to touch. It is very sore and sensitive. Pain from sacrum to coccyx to whole length of spine. So you see there are a lot of spinal symptoms as well. Which we tend to ignore when it comes to medorinum. So there is a lot of spinal symptoms. We covered the stool symptoms. Uh, another thing is because there's so much of spine symptoms, there's also going to be neuropathy. So there is burning, right? So burning in feet needs fanning or uncovering. So better by fanning, better by uncovering. Hmm? Uh, with that, we also have the restless feet syndrome here. Uh, you can also comment down other remedies that have restlessness in the feet. So there is restlessness in feet plus fidgety, constant fidgety. Uh, trembling all over with intense nervous uh, and profound exhaustion. Okay. Uh, moving on to the lung symptoms. Since the person is bent somewhere, the lungs would be like this not being anatomically specific right 
Uh, so there's this one thing about lungs in medorinum is that the middle lobes are affected. Okay, here you go. The middle lobes are affected. Uh, the sensation here is mainly in middle lobe. And if we had to be even more specific, it is middle lobe of right lung. So right middle lobe. Uh, it is as if coughing in a barrel. Okay, like a barrel. Why barrel? Because he can inspire in easily, but expiration is difficult. Okay, so inspiration is easy, but expiration is difficult. There is laryngeal and epiglottis spasm okay what about cough cough is an important thing which we have to talk about cough cough as you know i've taken the green pen so it is green it is difficult to raise difficult to raise green bitter whisked and it is like balls all right so this is cough of medorinum there's one more thing which I like to draw in the diagram is okay, maybe I should use an orange pen. So there is this sunrise, the daytime, and then there is sunset. So there is general aggravation, sunrise to sunset. Okay. So this is a characteristic modality of midorinum. There is general aggravation from sunrise to sunset. Drawing this diagram again here with a man bent backward. Now midorinum also has RS symptom like we've already mentioned here. Uh, if the like suppose there is snow falling from here, right? It will settle where at the throat if it is falling like this and the person is bent backward this is just imaginary symptoms so the symptom is that cold settles in throat exactly if you put this in mind like if the snow is falling here the middle lobe is affected right because the upper lobe is bent the lower lobe is below so middle lobe is affected if it were to be a female the coldness settling on the chest so that tells us that breast and nipple are cold to touch and they are icy cold to touch especially during menses not always but especially during menses uh, this was one of the female symptoms that people usually tend to forget these are all keynote symptoms uh, most common symptom that you actually write in exam is the psychoticness of midorinum right the psychoticness of midorinum comes and is most frequently seen in the female symptoms let me draw the uterus and the vagina yeah so there could be multiple things when it comes to psychoticness of midorinum there could be fibroids there could be salpingitis there could be overitis um, so here the psychoticness will also have pus formation uh, as a result of all this there could be polyps of course uh, there's going to be bleeding bleeding is going to be profuse so there's this one thing there's going to be profuse bleeding it is going to be very dark and it is going to be clotted psychoticness right uh, also it will stain the clothes staining and indelible common features of psychotic miasm so it is going to stain and it is going to be indelible uh, the stains are going to be difficult to wash off considering the psychotic miasm there is going to be gout crystal deposition okay Coldness is not just in throat and nipple but also all over. The body is cold to touch. Uh, Medorinum is a hot remedy whereas Thuja is a chilly remedy. Both are used as antipsychotic remedies. 
so if the patient is hot and we want an anti-miasmatic remedy we choose medorinum if the patient is cold we choose thuja another thing which one of my sir used to say that any complaints below in the lower limbs then you can always think of medorinum as an anti-miasmatic there's one more important uh, symptom for RS that is the patient feels better lying on the stomach uh, with tongue out so the breathing is better per abdomen with tongue out uh, in a lot of places I have seen uh, taking this lying on abdomen as an eliminating symptom so if the patient has a habit of sleeping on abdomen and medorinum is coming into the picture then I would always ask the question whether the patient has a habit of sleeping on abdomen if the patient does then it is a confirmatory symptom for medorinum all right so this is medorinum in short uh, just remember the bent picture of the person this tells us about uh, the pains in the whole spine from occiput to the lower back and from lower back radiating all over to the lower limbs Re uh, frigidity restlessness and burning in the lower limbs uh, there is tightness and constriction what i forgot to mention is that the patient feels better after urinating so back pain is better after urinating this is also an important symptom uh, also tells us about the psychotic miasm there could be renal calculi back pain better by urinating we go to the stools can pass stools only bend backwards sensation of ball like stools pen pricking pain which causes person to cry off go to rs middle lobe is affected barrel comes in cannot go out cough difficult green biscuit and bitter sleeping on abdomen ameliorates with tongue out cough is like balls uh, coming to the female part psychotic miasm so all psychoticness could be portrayed here staining and indelible cold settles in the throat cold settles on the breast area breast and nipple are cold especially during menses all right so this is medorinum in short i have tried to cover most of the keynote symptoms from alan's keynote uh, i might have missed out a few points please let me know if you like the video comment down your views on it and i think this video is going to make your remedy very very easy yeah thanks for watching see you soon